Hi everybody. Uh, we're gonna work on shapes versus forms today. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through the difference between a shape and its form. Um, you're gonna make your own example. And I know now this is definitely gonna be review for a lot of you. And uh, it's important. It's important to go through it. But uh, the thing to remember is, you know, as a group, some of us has, have never done this before. For some of you, this might be your even third time drawing these 3D forms. Uh, but it's important to review it and to make sure that you really know what's going on with uh, how to make dimension, how to uh, think about light sources. So that's what we're going to be doing for the next couple of classes. Okay, so let's talk about 2D versus 3D. Um, I think all of you know your kind of basic shapes, but let's talk about how they change into forms. And sometimes I get mixed up and I call them shapes, but they are, they're called forms. So we've got our shape, circle. But in uh, 3D, that turns into a sphere. We've got circle. And now we've got sphere. And then what's weird is you still draw it as a circle. But to make it look dimensional, you've got to add in some uh, shading or uh, lines that indicate its um, dimension. So the way I usually do it is I always imagine a light source from the top somewhere. And that light is going to hit somewhere in here, and you're going to get a highlight. And as the light goes around the sphere, it disperses. And so you're going to have a highlight here and a shadow exactly opposite. So shadow to highlight. And the types of lines that I'm drawing are these kind of like crescent shapes. And if I have a highlight here, we're going to have a shadow somewhere over there. So circle, sphere, that's your first one. Second one, we've got a square or rectangle. Square, I, I call them cubic forms sometimes. Um, so we put that into 3D. What do we get? A cube. And uh, there's two different ways to draw the cube. This is what I call an edge facing cube. And there's also a front facing cube. And this is the way uh, my sister taught me how to draw it. You make a square, you make another square, and then you connect the corners. Now that way is fine, but you get that transparent cube where you're looking into the back edge. So I would like you to practice not drawing it so it's transparent. So the way I usually describe it is that all the lines match. So back in space, back in space, back in space, vertical, vertical, horizontal, horizontal. Um, you can pick which one you want to draw, but again, if you want to do the drop shadow, um, I like to just stay consistent with my light source. So light is hitting it this way. We'll get a shadow over here somewhere. And uh, we'll talk more about shadows in a bit. So there's my uh, cube. And you can do a rectangle too if you'd like. Uh, let's see, next we've got the triangle. Okay. Try angle. Now we put that into 3D, we get kind of two choices. Um, okay, so the first one is basically like a pyramid. So you can make your triangle, and then you can make it go back into space like that. And the other way to do it is uh, it's kind of like a front facing pyramid where it goes back into space, and back into space this way. And again, imagine a light source from one of these directions. You're going to get shadow on this side and a drop shadow of the same shape. Same thing for this one, light source and shadow and shading. Um, rewind a little bit. We talked about circle and we've already kind of reviewed it, but circle is also, remember our old friend, cylinder. And same thing. Light source, we'll get darker on this side. Drop shadow over here. Circle, sphere, square into cubic form. So let's just write um, cube. And what else? Oh yeah, cone. So the other option too for triangle, if it's round on the bottom, we've got our cone. And the way that it, you draw it is it's supposed to be like an ellipse on the bottom. So again, I did that dash line so you can kind of see. Same thing as before, we've got our light source. 
and it's going to hit this object and cast a shadow of a similar shape. Um, so that's the first part. Draw your um, forms, and uh, I think it's best to organize it something like this, where you have um, your basic shape into your form, and your basic shape into your form. And I use a little bit of colored pencil on these, a little bit of blue and purple for my shadow. Um, I'd like you to draw, there's six. Well, kind of five. It depends if you do a rectangle as a separate one. So take your circle, your square, your triangle, and to make them into forms. So that's your assignment. Shapes into forms. And I will attach some more examples of what this could look like. Again, um, I'm drawing it Sharpie so that it's nice and clear. I would use a pencil. All right, so uh, I did this in Sharpie. Um, tried to explain kind of the light source idea as far as how to organize your paper. I think it's best to do it like this. I would put a little air on the corner to help you think about light source. So here's my sphere. Here's my uh, cylinder. I know it's a little hard to see. Um, but remember those ellipses on the top and bottom. Here's my cubic form. And then I've got my, my pyramid. And in the last bottom corner here, I've got my cone. And again, ellipse on the bottom. And just like your cylinder, but instead of coming to another ellipse, we go to a point. So probably best to organize your paper something like this. Uh, I recommend a consistent light source for each one. So you can imagine those drop shadows kind of coming off each one of these. If the shadows hit the next object, just have it kind of go behind it. Um, so something like that. And uh, I can post a picture of both of these on Classroom too. All right, so uh, just a little stop or a uh, fast forward video for you. Just wanted to kind of go over how to shade these. Um, when you're doing your sphere, it's really important you get that darker part to kind of wrap around the edge. So it's this kind of crescent shape, like a half circle. Um, basically, you're just kind of wrapping, you're wrapping the shadow around the edges. Darkest part should be down in this lower corner if your light source is from here, so opposite. And I tend to kind of spin those circles around. And you saw me when I work, it's this curving motion. Uh, the cylinder is basically flat. So it's vertical and then faded over if you can, a little smudging to flat this way. And usually you get a little bit of light disbursement kind of on the top. Um, the cube, light is gonna hit the top of it. And you might get a little bit of shadow there. You might get like a half tone here. But this part is basically just flat. I think I shaded a couple different directions. And then as far as the shadow go, we, we have another lesson coming up about shadows. But the basic idea is that it's going to kind of come off the edges of your object. So off the, off the cylinder, off the cube from the corners, off the cone, and then off the pyramid. So the general idea is you go to those kind of outer edges and you cast your shadow away from it that way. Um, the pyramid, pretty flat tone on this side. You might get like a half tone here and the cone and the cylinder are pretty similar. Um, I do flat here, and you have to kind of think of it as lines kind of going down from the top, and then kind of tilting over just a little bit. So you have a light edge here, and then dark edge over here, and then shadow. 
the ground. So I know that's pretty fast, but uh, I hope that helps. So there you go. That's your next assignment. I know, I know this is a review for a lot of you. Some of you have never done it before, but uh, this is really important to start thinking about three dimensions, how objects occupy space, and how to draw them. And we're going to build on this idea. So one step at a time. Uh, sketch out your sphere, cylinder, cube, pyramid, and cone. There you go. And then uh, we'll talk about what's next.